Welcome to another episode of No Rules. Me and Tigo are doing so well because it's the second episode of the year. You lot complain because we weren't consistent, but we're being consistent now. It's the most watched show in every undateable house. I don't care what anyone tells me. And today's a special episode, T, because we have someone that's a family member, but someone that knows everything about animals because he allegedly mated with one back in the day. <laughs> what? It was a human one. Oh, it was a human, human one. Like Sorry, human man. Human animal, bro. Don't do that. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up and down. <laughs> Four lippy lick shot lips. I hate when Steve calls you lips on filthy. By the way, yeah, me too. Yeah. We, we need to stop that. Yeah. Hey, lips, yeah, but lips, yeah, but lips. Yeah, like, bro, like, yeah he no. tries to get intimate. He tries to be like, yeah, nah, I know you better than these, man. <laughs> Yo, yeah. How's things, lippy man? All good, man. All good. New year, you get me. Today's a big episode. We talk about animals, man. Um, I think animals are are the most interesting feces in this planet. Feces, whatever you want to call them. Species. But I love animals. And they're not, yeah. Okay. I, I, I've had an animal. I had a, I had a dog, you know, a couple of years ago. But before that, I remember I bought a dog. I was young. I was about 13 years old. I bought a dog with my pal, but I hadn't told my parents. Yeah. And that was, yeah. yeah. What is it? You said that as well? Yeah, but I didn't. I, I, there was no point. <laughs> so you bought the dog first before. Nah, but, but <laughs> you know, like, I don't, can you do that in a transfer window? Like, the dog failed the medical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah basically, it didn't make it into the yard. The transfer went through, but. Yeah, he failed the medical. He to, yeah. Do you know in football manager when you're hovering over confirmed transfer? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, wait, wait. Seeing the budget yeah. delay. Delay. Yeah. delay to delay, one week. Delay, delay, delay. delay to two weeks and the third week they cancel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're being silly. You're being silly. Yeah. yeah. So, we, mine, Westy, I hate you for this, by the way. Westy had um nice, I don't remember what dog it was. It was white. Nice. The eyes were green. I was like, I want, I want this dog. The dog. And the dog was obviously breeding. And all these little puppies. And for some reason, you know puppies. Hey, they just look like, oh, let me just have this in my house for a couple of weeks. So I said, look, Westy, I'll buy one of them puppies off you. Before I've even spoke to my parents, I've got a bit of cash in my pocket. He said, yeah, cool, 40 pounds. I said, bro, come on, do me, do me a deal. He said, do me a deal. I still got to go and get pedigree, charm and all that kind of stuff. So let's do 20. He's like, cool. 20 pounds, I bought this dog. Well, I've got a picture. Free dog. I've got a picture. Yeah, facts. That's, a, a, that's a token gesture. Yeah, that was for pound. the food. Yeah. Is it? The, the, the score. It's a good yeah. price sometimes, though, no? Great we're price. We're talking, you know, England, Bobby Charlton days and that. Anyway, yeah. So, so I bought this dog now. He's getting me in a cage. I've got a picture of it, by the way, yeah? And um, I'm thinking, you know, I'm walking the street with this cage, dog's in it. I'm thinking, what am I going to say when I get in my house with this? You know what I mean? So I thought, okay, you know what? Let me go in my house at maybe 11 p.m. when the parents are sleeping. So I can explain the next day, which means the dog has somewhere to stay. So I've come at 11 o'clock, the parents are sleeping. I'm like, yes. So I left the dog in the corridor, in the cage. I've gone upstairs. All ah! this screaming and all that stuff. I'm running down the stairs, da, 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 da. Still family ain't woke up, cool. <laughs> oh, that was the dog <laughs> making that noise. Okay. They're off point. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, trust me, bro. They were, that day was a good sleep for them. I don't know what happened. Maybe <laughs> she was in the doing, you know, 16 hour shifts. You know what I mean? Anyway, bro, the next morning, she's woke me up like, what's going on? So I said, look, my friend got arrested and I was in his car. You're, you're, you're a natural years old. born liar. Oh, li That's lying is, is free. That's it's free. <laughs> but I said, he's coming to get it this evening. So. Cool, she's like, all right, cool, no worries. You, you stay at home with us, I said, yeah, cool. She's come back from work, I'm thinking, damn, I need another lie. You know what I mean? <laughs> I said, he's being shifted again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because it, like, I, I can't, you can't t t tell an African parent, look, this dog's ours now. 20 pounds is a lot of money then, you know? So it got, it got to like day three. Auntie was like, look, I don't know what's going on, what you're doing, but this dog needs to leave. By 6 p.m. today. Boys, it's 5 2. Um, Westy, my family said I can't have this dog. Bruv, I mean, you can't, you can't do this. You can't bring it back. Boys, I'm, and I can't leave the dog outside. I'm thinking about leaving the dog on the street and just dust him. I can't. You definitely <laughs> can't. <laughs> Should have just shot it again. That's what I've done. Dumbass Dazza. <laughs> <laughs> So I've, so I've said, Dazza, do me a favor, bro. I've got to go Edmonton. I don't know why I said Edmonton. Put this dog in your house. I'm gonna come and get in five minutes. I've got to get some money. He said, cool. My phone was off for ages. But obviously Dazza's done his homework. He's seen Facebook. He's holding at Westy, like Westy, come and get this dog. And 
I had that dog for like a week messing around, but I nearly ran away from home again because my auntie didn't even let me keep the dog. Yeah. It killed me. I thought the story was going to be a bit better than that. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, that, that, is, that, that is a true story, by the way. Nah, I hear you. True stories are like, they're not that exciting sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it hurt me. Nah, I hear you. I hear you. And I've got a picture of the I'll show you the picture after. I've got a picture of it anyway. But yeah, man, that, that was my, but, at least, but then I got a dog after that. Obviously the crowd know I had Pablo after that for a year, but we had to give it to Battersea Park because of allergies. Well, we, what we could do, we, we could run through, say, the te 10 animals that kill the most humans a year. From 10, around a thousand deaths, a thousand, uh, around a thousand human deaths a year are caused by crocodiles. Okay, see, okay, okay, so that, that don't make sense to me. Because to me, crocodiles are always in like in a dirty lake nah, somewhere. No, nah, no, but it, well, it, look, look what you just said though, bro. You can't see that, bro. Like, you'll just be walking, and you see the thing about, I think crocodiles and alligators, I think everyone tells themselves, oh, they're calm, man. You know, you see a crocodile just there, you think like, not, you could play with it, but you, you won't, a certain man won't be alarmed, like, it's not like a lion, or I think there's- Is this, it because it's that, that low? I think that now, nah, I think that there's, it's a myth that like, Cause it's not like charging at you on site. It's calm, but that's not. That's the whole point. It's a they want you to creature. think that. Yeah, that's yeah. the. You get me. So and kids as well. Like think about it, a lot of people live in places where they gotta go to rivers all the time, washing food. And remember, crocodiles and them man there. They're about, bro. They're not. Like, oh, yeah, they're they in might Africa, not be, yeah, Asia, like, Australia, they're about, North like, they're and not, South America. They're not always living in the same river, bro. Like, he'll cut. How do you know this, Slippy? Like, I don't understand. Like, oh, man, watch the shows and... So tell read. me, okay, what's the difference between alligator? Because obviously I'm reading, I'm reading stories to my son right now, like kid stories. I, and I, I, I don't I, know the difference between alligator and crocodile. I, the, the main difference, like, on a, on a habitat thing, <laughs> I think, is that crocodiles mm. can swim in fresh water. And alligators can't. Oh, look, I can live But, but alligators, but crocodiles are still in, not fresh. Is it fresh water or it? So alligators prefer fresh, while crocs yeah. prefer salt water. Oh, let me ask you this. Salt brackish. water. That's oh, let me ask you this. Yeah. You see when you have them, them little cards for kids' books yeah. and, you know, your kids put the, how am I supposed to know if it's an alligator or crocodile? There's no, there's, the crocodile's not no sea, it's on land. So how am I supposed to know the difference? Because one minute I'm saying crocodile, his mum's saying alligator. I'm saying, how do we know? They look, they look different, man. They is do it? look different. Is it? Yeah. One has a U-shaped snout. Yeah. And uh, crocodiles have a pointier snout. So alligators got the big nose. Why, why, why can't, why can't an alligator reverse? What do you mean? Like, so if they're swimming forward, why can't they go back to, t why, you know what I'm saying? Like, every time I see, when you're watching these kind of programs, when, when alligators chasing you, if you bend the corner. You don't need to. It goes round. <laughs> no, but animals, but no, but animals, most animals don't do things like that they don't particularly need to do, innit? They'll just do something else. Like why, when would an alligator need to back up? Well, I need to see an animal reverse in the, in the lake or something. I need to, I need to see a reverse. No, nah, there's definitely, reverse, yeah, there's yeah. Def and there's definitely animals that like do things that like aren't, it don't seem logical to us. But then when you break it down, it's mad logical, like. Boy, uh, listen, if you, I mean, a crowd, if you've got anyone that's, you know, that's been hit the stairs by an alligator or a crocodile, I think that's the worst. That, that's something you have to deny. Like, if t you know what I mean? If I, if, I went, if I went to, like, you know, Kenya with Tigo and a crocodile got him, what happened? I said, well, plane crash. Yeah. Like, you, got, you, you, can't, you can't say that. He's still, he's still over there. Yeah, yeah you can't yeah, say that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the ultimate can't game. That is the animal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can't lose that animal. Because it's always your fault. No Stinks. matter what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No matter what. Stinks. It's never just, oh my God. Unless he was just walking. <laughs> yeah. And the alligator just jumped out. Like. Yeah. Unless a bear knocks on your door, it's your fault. Yeah, Even man. then, don't open the door. Number nine. Killer bees. Killing 2,000 humans a year. What? Tapeworm. Tapeworm. Tapeworm? Yeah. No. And don't tell me that's worm with. No, it's, it's called tape worm because it's like, it's, it's thin. That. Have you seen, have you seen, I'm sure it's the guy that done um, Super Size Me mm. or one of them thing there. He, I'm sure it's my man, but he done an experiment where he put on all this weight. And then I, I think in certain countries, that's like a weight loss yeah. thing. So he took like a pill that puts a tape worm in. Bro, he lost like, four stone or something in like two months, like just from doing nothing. And then he had to take this other pill to shit it out, bro. Bro, they stretched it out, bro. The thing was like, bro, it was mad long. Cause obviously it's, 
it they you only get rid of it once it's travelled through your whole no, what's the long one? Your large intestines. Large intestines. And large you know intestines. they're mad long, like. How did he get it? So how did he swallow it? No, I don't get it. It's, it's it like from... A, it can be a little bit of micro... Yeah. Bacteria. It's like bacteria. That's why, yeah. that's why, that's why it, whenever I'm eating my, my ready brick and I put with the whole water in there, anytime I see little bits that I feel like, nope, that doesn't look like porridge, on a little spoon in the bin. And Tigo says, I'm weird. That's what I do, but I remove things, bro. They, they live on raw and uncooked meat, basically, pork or beef. Is it? And they, but they're not here in this country, right? They're everywhere. Yeah, they're everywhere. Tate one's dangerous, man. Like they're not in Islington because I've never. I mean, we've never spoke about that as kids. Uh, Number eight kills twenty five hundred people a year. Ascaris roundworm. Same thing, basically. Like a bacteria. Yeah. Just 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 know that I've cut a worm in half before, and it's turned into twins, and they just they just dust out. So I've 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 always wondered why. It's turned into twins. They just dust out. Facts. They do though, yeah, they do. Nah, they mm. do. Yeah, um, I don't know why. I don't, it's probably not worth finding out. Ten thousand people are killed a year by freshwater snails. What? Yeah, snails. It's a parasite. Uh, they're infected, um, and they cause flu-like symptoms, blood vomits, and leg paralysis. Wow. Is it? Snails so aren't even pricks. Why do they more. why do snails disappear? <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know and there's another snail that lives in volcanoes. Something about animals, man. It's wider. Nah, they're like they got superpowers, bro. So why do they appear like when, when it's raining, I just they're always outside my door. Why? <laughs> no, seriously, why? <laughs> I don't know, actually. Oh, yeah, that's nah. a good question. They, every time it rains, they just appear there's loads of Moisture, your house. isn't it? Moisture. Yeah. My it's thing easier. is Yeah, yeah. They get pace. Yeah, room. yeah. Is it? Oh, they're very slow. Because they have to slow. probably stay where it's dark and damp and where nothing can get them. But when it's raining. What I love about snails is I like the fact they, they take their little tent with them. Yeah, so, any, cause like, you know what I mean? Yeah, every, like, if I see one and I'm looking and it looks right at me, it just goes back you can't, right into this little house. Bro. Huh? Snails don't have eyes. So, how, so how do they know I'm there then? Because they go back when feelings. they see me. Okay. Yeah, you they, touch them and they go. Yeah. Is it? Mm. Sneaky animals, man. Um, apparently, the reason they come out in the rain is because uh, they need to breed and they need to get food. And the, and the high humidity means uh, it's a good time for them to do that. But they also uh, make small holes in the ground to lay their eggs, which they can't really do on dry soils. So they have to do it on wet soils. Okay, so they're they're going to have a good week this week because yes. we've had rain galore, boy. We got the snails, man. But uh, the, the uh, freshwater snails are on the increase because of climate change. So ten thousand deaths a year could be could get bigger. Wow, where are they from? Um, they say they're all over. That's crazy. Yeah. Fresh water. Snow. At least snows are not purposely trying to kill you, though. Do you know yeah, what I'm trying to say? It's not see, like so. yeah. Well, like a, there are some bugs that are trying to intentionally yeah. kill you, like the ten thousand people that die every year from assassin bugs. Oh, okay. And you can't be called an assassin yeah, bug yeah. Wait. unless <laughs> you're trying to. K- that yeah. is not a joke. That sounds like the bugs got swords and stuff. What do you mean assassin? But I don't understand. You know what his other name is? kissing bug oh it's attracted to lights in homes where they find their prey humans these bugs bite people spreading the parasite that causes chagas disease the chagas disease leads to major organ failure and kills ten thousand people yearly are you the t- are you the type to kill like if you see like a bug in your yard now you, are you the type to step on it quickly or whatever you leave it yeah okay is it straight uh, probably Sometimes I just if it's bothering it. me if it's like in a mad, I'm not one of them man that will like stand on the chair and like, you know what I mean, just to get the, if it's not bothering me, I'll just be like, cool. It's like, That's you know, true. like summer flies, it's onto you. I'll leave the door open for a while. If it's not mm. that. Do you live on the ground floor? Nah. And that's why. When I used to live on the ground floor, it was bugs everywhere. And it's seasonal as well. Like as soon as it starts getting cold, they all want to come in your house, yeah, spiders, yeah, all that. Yeah. In the summer, it's just nasty little flies. I don't. I, I don't. I, I'd, I'd prefer bugs than flies. If flies could be extinct, I, I, you know what I mean? Because even I ain't seen a fly in, I'd say, six months, and I, like it's it's, it's made a difference. Isn't it? It's made a difference. I can eat yeah. in peace. Yeah, I, I can't like, hear nothing. I don't like flies. Man. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like it. Just like you're watching something, and then this black thing just just you know what I mean? Because flies just they don't know what they. they I don't know. I don't understand what game they're playing. Well, luckily, the fifth. Uh, animal to kill the most people. Don't say flies. It's the 10,000 deaths a year is the CC flies. After dogs, the next five animals are small and relatively unassuming, perhaps making them more dangerous. CC flies fly around Africa, 
and the carriers of parasite causing Phew. sleeping sickness. <laughs> I'm gonna say um, Yeah, it, it's in sub-Saharan Africa, particularly in rural and undeveloped areas where people rely on livestock, which can also become infected. Um, yeah, and the thing about it is, is the disease that it carries can go undetected for a long time. But yeah, man, Africa, when you go to Africa, you, there's just so many things in the air, bro. So many things. My brother always talks about it, yeah. He said he always he's like tells this is like his like wildlife story, like about when you So you and your brother have wildlife talks? Yeah, what the That's time? amazing, man. But his t- his one, yeah, it's not this one a wildlife talk, but he's talking about how he come back from a rave and he bucked a family of ba- badgers and he was just how shocked at how big they were, They're innit? massive, yeah. He's like badgers are so big and he's like all of them ran off and one of them kinda stayed there, like what are you man on? <laughs> and, like, and that just made man think, nah, and it's, and it's just a thing where like you can't really run into anything in England that you can't just go, oh shit, there's that, and yeah. then just fuck off. Like, in America, have you seen them videos of when man see, like, there's a, a guy, I think he's he's on his bike, and a mountain lion cub starts following him. And he's like, he doesn't know what to do, because he knows that the mum's gonna be nearby, the mum's gonna, and this little lion cub's on him. And he's like, he's clued up, he's like, I think it's just born, like, I must think, like, I'm protecting it or something because like it's on me, innit? And he's like, I don't want to leave it here. Like, but I'm thinking, you're an idiot, bro. Yeah, get out of there. You got us. Bro, as soon as he says that, you hear like shuffling, turn around, the mum is on him. The video's like five minutes long. The thing's just stalking him. He's shouting that at him. On the mountain top? Yeah, yeah, he's shouting you at him. You can even tell the mum, I was trying to help. It's just. Nah, there's, there's no, there's no like. That's one thing I don't, you can't talk, you can't tell the animal, no, this is. No, you've but got you it wrong. Know, and that's why animals are so like. It fascinating to me, yeah, because when I say the Martin Lion m- mother's chasing him for five minutes, brother, you think the children are keeping up? Now all the kids are lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just because my man, th- th- she's trying to kill my oh, man. Yeah. She don't. The family, that's all. Her, go back yeah, now, I hope her whole, there. her whole. Because in like in her mind, this I can't let my man go in it. Like you get me, he's the one that took my child and really, yeah, man, they're territorial in it. Yeah, like, but they need to stop lying to themselves because that's not what happened. You, you, animals, animals are mad. It's instinct. There's no lot. There's no. Yeah. Animals don't have logic. Yeah, of course they'll do. Nah, but some, oh, no, but the thing is, some humans think maybe not. Animals never think maybe not. Once they, they say, do. oh, what? Yeah. Imagine, yeah. They do, Imagine it, Poet was a mountain lion. Yeah. You couldn't tell Poet the mountain lion that it weren't what, what he thought it was. Yeah, but that means they're all poet. They're all the same. <laughs> they're all poets, isn't it? When you think about it. Yeah, yeah. Poet's a mountain lion. Poet's a mountain Animals lion. Animals don't change their mind, bro, man. They don't no, change their mind. Uh, North they America's do, mad, they, though, man. Yeah, North America's Bears. Mad. Yeah, bears. Bears is a big problem. How can you live with a bear? How, how, do you, how, how can I come to my house or look, look out the window and there's a bear down the road? Like, that's, that's weird. Bears are serious, man. Bears are like, they're killing machines, like. But imagine though, like, like imagine we had all them, them animals like bears and lions, like you know what I mean. Man, them again on glides, but they get interrupted by lions, and then they got to go back to their ends. Yeah. That'd be sick. Our boys, I couldn't do it, man. One lion was on it. Yeah, nah, but that's s- the thing is in America, crime. you're not allowed to kill yeah. those animals. What like polar bears? So you're telling me if a polar bear is attacking me, I can't. No, a polar bear because they're okay. not in those countries. They're in the North Pole, or whatever. But. Yeah, like bears. No, 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 brown. Is it a brown bear? There's a bear, there's a bear, bear in America. Yeah, yeah. Brown black, bear, black, brown, bear, brown bear. Brown bear. Yeah. What are you doing yeah. if a bear is attacking you? Like, what, 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 what you think? how are you blocking? I'll be honest. I'm gonna Google that. So the next time I, so the next time someone asks me, or if it happens, I'm better prepared because <laughs> that is that can happen. Bear attacks happen, <laughs> bro. Have you seen the vi- the, the movie? With Leonardo DiCaprio Revenant, yeah. getting yammed <laughs> yeah. by the bear. Yeah. Now fuck that. You see the guy on Twitter. <laughs> the guy on Twitter. That. Oh, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it right now. Apparently, oh. according to Brown uh, Google, brown grizzly bears. Uh, your best bet is to leave your pack on and play dead. Lay flat on your stomach with your hands That's impossible. Your back. That is impossible. Spread your legs. I seen Revenant. That make it harder for the bear to turn you over. Remain still until the bear leaves the area. Bruv, I, you have to protect your protective organs. But that's my thing. How, how do you expect me to lie on the floor, head down, nah, knowing that can't. there's a big bear on top of me? I can't see what the bear wants to do, what's going to do, but I've got to stay still. you got to survive. My body's going to... I'm going to fuck. No, you got to... you, <laughs> you got to just survive for long enough to figure out how to get out of that situation. That's the only... And whether that's killing it, whether that's firming an attack until it... Gets bored. No, which is animals need to change their mind, man. 
Can't change their mind, bro. Like, come on, Bears. Like, <laughs> what? Everyone, for, t- for the last 40 years, everyone's just got to lie on the floor and just wait and, and not move. Like, animals where's plan B? Or well, whatever. Smart, like, you could say some animals just about have, like, minds. Like, animals they're, like, change, wired man. to do, like, yeah. what that they needs to do. change. pre programmed Nah, because nah, if, if it changed, that's what you don't get. If they weren't like that, if they were even, like, a tiny bit different, then everything would be different. Like every like if bears were like five percent different, every single creature in the land would be five. Why not? But, but what I'm saying is, why don't? Why can't we? Be, we've we've done all the years of this fear stuff with these because they don't want to change their mind. <laughs> now, when you go to a circus, they inject these animals because in a circus, these animals act completely differently. They so still go- turn on them, though. Yeah. If but if it's an but animal's instincts, you can beat and batter that bear so it dances on a ball or whatever but right. one day it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. gonna kick in and be like yeah, cool gonna, that's your head it's gonna take yeah. it off. yeah why what was the, why fight or flight we got it we hmm. got it bro throw throw a human into water and naturally they would they'll do what they do bro whether it's the water's as deep as this room or whether it's three foot from you don't know your initial reaction is just especially if you can't swim or whatever it's just it's primal instinct instinct have you ever seen the film battle royal Japanese film, uh, all kids on an island, and they get told only one of the, the last surviving person is the only person we're letting live. Here's a load of weapons. Go get your weapon. See if you survive. It's great, great film. Hum- but it's about like how humans will do that. There'll be animals to say to stay alive. Yeah, bro, they do anything, bro. And think about it, that's an animal's life. Animal's life every day is fighting to live. You get me? Insects, bro. See insects, they are like, not like child soldiers in Africa, just born into a mad thing. Insects, their lives are just, eh, bro, every second, bro, it's a mad thing. They could get nyam by their brethren. They could ants get that fuckery where they like, you know when they do, they do the trail where they follow each other. Man, they do this thing, but if one of them goes off course, they start walking around in a circle until they die. Yeah. Cause there's just nowhere to go. There was a game um, on PC back in the day called Sim Ant. And it was about building a colony, moving the colony, making the queen, and then sending the queen out. But yeah, different bugs would come and battle you. And yeah, the weather would change. So the water would flood up in your colony and your eggs would disappear. And insects life's not easy, man. Yeah, nah, man. I watch a lot of insect fighting videos. Sorry, insects, man. (laughs) They fight. Yeah, of course they fight. In trouble. Bro, every, like, more or less every insect is like, Weaponized, bro. Like even it. the shit. Well, like, look at like, like swinging it. A snail, a snail, a snail mm. can't even see, but it's got, like, it's it's built it's with armor. It's got a like, tent. Yeah. Get me. Mm. So it's like <laughs> a lot of them have got teeth mm. as well. Yeah, bro. Like, you can't see the teeth, but yeah. when they latch onto you, it starts chopping. Yeah, like because the, the Don Gorgon or the insect world. Yeah. Let me, let me. I'm just. I'm gonna give it away. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got time. Listen, the fifth, the fourth most deadly animal which causes twenty five thousand deaths a year is dogs, but most of them are from the viruses and the infections oh. of, that dogs give you, especially in places with large numbers of stray dogs. Do you remember stray dogs? Yeah. It used to just be dogs running around. Mm. They don't in have J- that in Jamaica, they bear them. Yeah, yeah. but they used to, in, the, in the end, they used to be mm. all the time. That mad dog that just chases you. Yeah. Everyone knows about it. It's just always well fed and just ready to chase you all the time. It's mad how all my aunties like hate dogs in this country, but love dogs in Africa. Number three, snakes, 50,000 deaths. That's that's I think I, I I think that's my most scariest animal because it's it's it's, it's that film Anaconda that like scarred me that traumatized a lot of children yeah, for but years. I don't, but you see, but you see, that's that just made something click in my mind. It's things like that that made me like mm. get clued up about animals because I watch these films and be like, nah, man, there's no way this can happen. <laughs> like you know that one. That's too that's too much. Like fair enough, they're fucked. But like. And then you Google them and it's it's not they become less scary, but it's more logical, isn't it? You understand them. But they're another sneaky creature though. Yeah, yeah. Very, oh, they very are. sneaky. But I've, I've seen videos on TikTok of them, like, you know, in Brazil, like wrapping themselves around human beings and squeezing the hell out of human beings. Yeah. And people are trying to, you know, pull the snake off. I'm just like, bruv, that's a big, he's a big, you know what I mean? But you know what I like about snakes though? If they're not hungry, they'll go raving with you, bro. But that's just because they're, especially with anacondas or what did you call them? Them kind of things, constrictors or boa constrictors. Yeah. yeah. But like that. But you see, them kind of snakes is because once they eat whatever they've eaten, it's a fucking cow or something. It takes that like, three weeks to fucking digest. How can you, digest, how so can they you just eat a cow? How can you decide? Okay, you're you're a snake and you 
you know, you that's how you move. You can't stand up really, can you? No. You can stand up a bit. <laughs> yeah, like, a you know bit. what I mean? But you can't really stand up. But you're going for a ca- you're on the floor, you're looking up oh, like, can, at this big building scene. You I have to remember, this. it's like, not like jujitsu. Like you see with them wrestlers, they'll start from like your ankle. Like you'll end up getting choked out by your neck. But the first point of con- contact is Pulling your leg. Your leg down, yeah. So they'll, they'll grab your leg, snap it. Let's have it right, like a cow or something. Once your back limbs are broken, that's, you get me? Chokes you out. But some of them die from eating these big, big yeah, creatures. a lot of them do. So they're stupid then? They suffocate. They're not smart. Yeah. But they unhinge their jaws. Yeah. Yeah. But big up the people that, especially the ones from Brixton, that had snakes in their house back in the day. They that's the weirdest snakes, thing yeah. ever. Did you ever go in them houses? Of course, bro. What did they smell like? <laughs> I, do you know what? I was so, like, when, if I'm scared, I have no sense of smell. But I just remember, like, there was no lights. There was always, these, they had, like, little bulbs yeah, everywhere. Yeah. I don't know I why. Don't like that. Bare yeah. little bulbs. Yeah. Yeah. And it's and like the room looks like the habitat. There's like random leaves like yeah. decorated on the ceiling and shit. It's like, why is this what's, what's the, You know what I mean? And then yeah. it's like, there's a cage, but I can't see the yes, snake. that's what I don't like as well. So now oh, he's looking he, for the snake and we're in his room. He must be roaming. I'm yeah. saying, brother, let <laughs> man out of the fucking yard. <laughs> My man's talking about he's eight foot long. Mm, they, they, ah. they, shed their, <laughs> they shed their skin. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't, I don't the like that. The snake's never in this cage. It's always just around the house. So yeah, man, that stinks. Well, look, number mm-hmm. two, humans. It's an obvious one. Humans yep. cause more human deaths than anything. And number one, we know mosquitoes. Definitely, man. The mosquito. I mean, the mosquitoes I know. Mm, mini motorbikes. We used to sleep in Africa. I had to sleep. All of us, the whole family, wrapped our sheets over us, and you could just hear these men just you. trying Within to get blood. Yeah, nah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck mosquitoes. Fuck mosquitoes. Sna- snaky as well. Very, yeah. Never come at daytime, do they? No, nah, well, they do, but they're very more dangerous at night. You know they don't. You know, do you, you know they don't suck your blood to eat it though. I thought they were eating, but it's not. It's to. It's to fertilize their eggs. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna now go on to the ten smartest animals in the world. Oh, I like this one. Uh, I, I know, I know. I don't, I don't really know about I this know, one. This I one, know. I think this one will shock me a lot. Well, number ten is rats. See, I've mm-hmm. got something about rats. There's something I know about rats. I I saw something about rats. Sorry, I saw something about rats. Rats can be trained. Yeah. La- they laugh when you tickle them. That's a fact. A rat laughs when you tickle them, bro. So instead of us running when we see rats at home and stuff. In fact, let's grab one and tickle and see how it laughs. I want to hear, <laughs> I want to hear that fake podcast, YouTube laugh. <laughs> I want to hear that shit. Nah, trust me, don't want to tickle no rat in the end. No, no. You got why? Go. Is it because of the? Because they're infected with stuff yeah. and they bite. Yeah. But they're um, they're very very smart. They can be trained. They're being used to like um, to find food people on earthquake sites and stuff. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Mm. They, they was it? taking t- um. I'm sure they so they took some earthquake victims, some like some nutrients or something. They was bringing them, but that was, it was PK's video. Yeah, yeah. Said yeah, if you, you can't do that, Not man's that legs again. is man's <laughs> legs is crushed <laughs> under rubble. Now you're sending a family of rats with backpacks. <laughs> man's dead. Despite having small and comparatively the undeveloped brains, uh, their minds function in a similar way to humans, and the brain structure is comparable as well. So they're they're very human like animals. They've got the ability to figure out mazes, memorize routes, and perform complex multiple step that, tasks. That, that's very true. I was watching a film with uh, the missus years ago and a, a rat come in. You know, you know when the builders come in, the builders come and they start doing their every morning. The, the rats now move towards your house for some reason. Yeah. Bruv, it's come out, it's come out. I see it and I knew the missus was gonna freak out. So I thought, let me leave it. So it's come out and it's gone round and round and it's gone behind the TV. I ain't said nothing, I thought, let me just turn it because it's getting close to us. I said, look, there's a rat. She turned the light on. Bro, the rat did the same route back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, exact yeah, same route yeah, back. Yeah. Even when you know it does a little U-turn, yeah, yeah. it did that, the U-turn again and go back in a hole. Yeah. Never saw it again. I said to myself, you know what? They're not, they're, they're, they might not be as bad as we think they are, you know? They're, bad. they're clever, they're clever. They're, they're just, just infected they're with shit, yeah. yeah. Um, number nine, pigeons. Pigeons, you do jobs as well. Mm-hmm. No, pigeons are stupid. They were in the war. Ah, they're not stupid. 
Birds are very intelligent. They're stupid. Yeah. Apparently, they can recognize their own reflection. One of the few animals that can do that. All right, if they're not stupid, why? They, how come I always see them in pieces in the middle of the road? Because they're not car proof. <laughs> no, but if a car's coming, you yeah, fly. You, you, can can fly. you can misjudge it. Like, you, you get me? You can. Not all cars are going at the same speed. Like. And they ain't got ears as well, have they? Ah, they have. They have ears. Yeah, no. they've got ears. They just yeah. don't have visible ears. Yeah. They you think birds ears. can't so this, hear? This table's got ears. You say they got miles ears. Yeah, they got miles ears. If I've miles had feathers. Yeah, you I've, look, see I've ears, looked like. at a bird like. I've seen a bird like this close, but obviously there's a window. No, have here. you seen a bird is that it's it's disturbing. It's just like a hole in the side of their head. Yeah. When you can, people do it with parrots and that. Pigeon pigeons okay. pigeons um, can identify all the letters of the English alphabet. What? How do you know that? And they can recognize the difference between two people in pictures. They can recognize the difference between two people in pictures. Yeah, like a dog mm -hmm. can't even see its own reflection and be like, "Ah, oh, that's me." A pigeon can see a picture of Lippy and a picture of Lippy's brother and be like, nah, nah, that's Lippy. Yeah. Okay, how, how or a picture of Geordie how and a picture of Bernie Mac. How and be like, that's Geordie. <laughs> 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 see, how do scientists know these things, honestly? By testing. How do you, how do you test, how, how can you test that, how? I just like, imagine mm. you go, right, a uh, pigeon gets a no specs and you feed it, it's cool with you, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But then you feed it next day, feed it next day. And then the next day he comes like, yeah, I know you're gonna feed me. And then they go, all right, cool. What we'll do now is we'll show him a picture of you. And he'll be like, oh yeah, cool. That's the guy that feeds me, cool, he's cool. And then they got a picture of him with a picture of the rock. And he'll be like, I don't know that guy, he doesn't feed me, I know yeah, him. Bro, That's yeah, class. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're right. That's how when you go into the par a park in Brixton, or you know Northwest, and there's that old lady on the bench with loads of bread that has expired from a year ago. She's fit, all the birds come and okay, and she's good every day. just the bread yeah, and the, the sounds. And oh, that. Okay. Yeah. All right, number eight on the list of most uh, intelligent animals is crows. I don't like crows. Man. I think there's going to be a couple birds. Anyway. Crows are levered off. There's never. There's, they're very big. I've seen crows attack pigeons. By the way, or is it just me? I think birds are quite. They argue in it. Territorial. Mm -hmm. They can learn, crows can learn speech. Um, they've there are records of them altering migration patterns to avoid dangerous areas. So they'd be like, yeah, let's swing over this way. Like they're smart enough to stay away from stuff. Um, they've been caught m memorizing garbage routes. So they know when the garbage trucks are coming. They'd be like, cool, I know where the bins are. I know where to go, when to go, to get their food. Uh, the largest brain of all avian species, um, and they've got the ability to recognize human faces. Um, yeah, and, and the thing about them is that they can use tools. Raw. Well, oh, like, yeah, I've seen that. They'll like use like a rock to break open like a yeah, nut or yeah, something. Yeah. That's amazing, man. Like the new Caledonian crow makes a knife to more easily separate leaves and grass. Yeah, safe. It's got a nank. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's, and it's never off. Yeah. And it's yeah, never yeah. off, ball. Yeah. Ride that bird. It's from Caledonian, though, so it's cool. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> <cool>. <laughs> Oi. Yeah, I've never seen a dead small. crow in the road as well. Never. Never seen a dead crow in the road ever. Like, run out, like, do you know what I mean? They, 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 oh, that's a car. That's a range coming. Let me get out of it. Sting had a crow as well. Sting had a crow, didn't he? Wrestler. Yeah. Flipping hell, man. Big up the crows, man. Number seven on our list pigs. Pigs are very smart. I knew they were smart, I didn't think. You told me a pig cat. fact like a year ago, it's gone though. You said something about pig smell. They don't sweat you so, don't they? And they can breathe through their bum hole. Yeah. That's one thing, that's the part I don't agree with though. What? Breathing out of your bum. Yeah. yeah. Like, they fart, right? Probably, I hope I'd so. I imagine so. If they don't, wow. Did I see a pig, did I, did I see a pig fact here as well? They have the intelligence complement <gasps> to a toddler. Apparently, pigs have an orgasm for 30 minutes. Now, that's fucking too long. <laughs> While breathing out your fucking ass as fucking well. Fucking hell, breathing out your ass. 30 minutes. 30 minutes of orgasm, bro. You're, you're, you're kidding me, man. Um, the next is uh, number six, octopus. Yes, Mark. That's that's an animal that I didn't I, I didn't believe they in. They can get they can you can screw one in a jar and it'll get it's, it'll it'll figure out how to get out of it. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> like literally. Toy Story. 
What? What? <laughs> huh? Huh? This was like the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Toy Story. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's a scene in Toy Story where the um, octopus helps. Um, what's his name? The, but yeah, the, yeah. You talking about Finding Nemo? Oh, yeah, Finding oh it's yeah. Finding Nemo. Yeah, it's Finding Nemo. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's uh, all these uh, um, uh, 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 Armations. They, 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 uh, Armations. Uh, Armations. <laughs> they, 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 I get mixed up. Yeah, it's Finding Nemo, sorry. Uh, the octopus helped help to escape. Apparently they throw rocks at glass and apparently if like, there's something that they think can be worn away by water, they'll just keep splashing water on it. Is it? Yeah, that's clever. And when they're fifth, the octopus, yeah? Yeah. Obviously, oh, they, they disguise small. themselves as rocks, as you said. Mm. And um, they apparently, they, they move very slowly, matching the speed of the water to create the illusion that they're standing still. That's a madness. And that's for, the, that's for prey. Yeah. yeah. yeah if, you're, if you're octopus prey, you're fucked. Nine times out of ten. And obviously, they, yeah, they figure out mazes and that. I think they eat things that they have like no right eating as well. I'm sure some of them, maybe not like proper sharks, but I'm sure they eat like smaller shark species and that and they got a lot. baby dolphins they got a lot or of something. Do, do yeah. they, because in cartoons they sh- or these uh, animations, they show us of like octopus hiding and then just coming and grabbing someone. Yeah. Take, that's is, that how they, is that how they do, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're sneaky. Pr- they're sneaky as well, yeah. yeah. Like humans, humans are sneaky, bro. Humans are sneaky. No, 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 hide behind the bin. Of course. Yeah, of course, man. What do you think we, we invented bro. camouflage for? We, we stole it from animals. Mm. We're naturally sneaky people. Like number five on our list, the African grey parrot. See, I knew bear, bear them would be birds. Yeah. Birds are clever. As smart clever, as a five-year-old human. You know. Five-year-old human? They can learn speech, master an impressively large vocabulary up to hundreds of words. They understand spatial reasoning, recognize and identify shapes and colors, and can even be taught the relationships between bigger and smaller, different and alike, over and under. We should get a parrot on Filthy. Oh, that'll be putting and put a bird on my shoulder. Hmm. Is I mean, because back in the day, I didn't understand. Do the episode normal. They even yeah. just wait for it to start chatting. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm on that man. Or oh, an owl, put an owl on our shoulders. Actually, I wouldn't do this. I'm don't scared. Part with owls. No, nah, owls are long. Yeah, is it? Part with owls. Head spins all the way around. Yeah, and they shit pellets. I didn't know that. Stay out, and they only come out on that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, number four, elephants. Bro, that's an intelligent animal. Yeah, definitely. They, they, they don't forget nothing, in it. You, sh- you you slap an ele- elephant's bum, you go away for six months. You come back, you recognize your face. <laughs> Bo, it will smell that hand and know that it's you again. <laughs> Didn't um, wasn't there that woman who the elephant killed her? Yeah. And then the next like week they tried to do her, do the funeral there. The yeah, elephant came back and went nah. Yeah, slapped, nah. slapped over a coffin or something. Fuck her. It tried to kill yeah. her again. Yeah. yeah. Flipping oh man. Yeah, they have like uh, they have rituals for. Their departed family members, yeah, yeah, yeah. so they, they have funerals. This is how yeah. smart they are. Yeah. Uh, they have a social structure, so there's a there's a hierarchy. What? Um, yeah. There's like a Boris Johnson of elephants. You're telling me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You you watch Bar Bar the Elephant? No. The cartoon. Well, you know why that's mad? Because they're not like they're not they don't hunt and that. So there's like there's not even a need for that really. Like, and they're not necessarily hunted. No. So they just do it like just because they're that smart. They can um. They can use tools to medicate themselves. Whoa. So basically like where we put plasters on, they can do that. Fucking hell. And they, they know which leaves to eat to cure illnesses. And even when one of them's like been in labor too long, they'll be like, go and eat that. Cause you need to drop this baby. It's like when humans eat That's spicy. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. No way. That's and if it's going to us back. Uh, number three on the list, chimpanzees. Not, not, not surprising. Well, they look like humans at the end of the day. If you look like humans, Boy, yeah, yeah. What you man need to hear the recording of the lady calling the Jakes on her chimpanzee killing her brethren. Mm, no, that it's sounds dis- It's disturbing. Yeah, she's like, because again, animal instinct. One day the chimp just woke up and said, What? I'm in a yard. You're <laughs> not. Yeah, 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 yeah. The next person I see is getting it. Yeah, they tear off faces, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm. But the woman, the woman survived, but she, yeah. but she had like. Yeah, no, no, the women didn't survive. I lied, I lied, I lied. Yeah, but yeah. Apparently let's be honest, like, let, let's be honest, like. If you, I believe the chimpanzee is in your house and it's been your friends for five weeks. Let's say, I think you, you take it too far. Like me or you, you know what we will do one day on a Saturday. You know what, buff? Right, let's let's take the piss out of this chimp, chimpanzee. 
whatever, try banging the face, try banging the bed, whatever you want to call it. But no, <laughs> but that's why I think the chimpanzee switches because people take it, take an inch. Yeah, they take you know you know how people are. There, are we were we were watching a whole thing about them uh, last week, um, learning how to basically they built a board with little logos on them, and the logos represented different words. So it's like banana or I see banana or box or but they proper can learn all this stuff and communicate. And then they gave one a T-shirt. He picked it up. Looked at it and went, ah, oh, the logo's on this side. Let me turn it around. And, and he puts the T-shirt on. They're humans though, man. I, I, I think it's, we need to stop putting chimpanzees, monkeys, gorillas in the animal kingdom. I think we should bring them I this think side. I think they're smarter than we think they are though. Them, them and dolphins. I think they just know, they know extra shit. Like, you know them ones. Apparently like, they've got psychological techniques within their own families, then they use them to manipulate others to complete certain tasks. That's very human, that's very... We should, we should really like just give like exam papers to all these like chimpanzees and stuff and see like, w like work this out. You nah, never know. Nah, but I reckon there's animals that are so smart that they won't show you how smart they are. And I think chimps are one of them. Oh, so they play tricks. So I think they'll they they'll dumb. they'll act they'll act playful yeah. and but that's that's as far as they'll go. You know that's cool. That's cool setting setting you up. Yeah, no, nah, it's just knowing that. It's, I think it's like being in control of their situation, isn't it? Well, imagine this. There are records of. Humans teaching them sign language, we know that. Yeah. But then when humans aren't around, they teach their kids the sign language. Yeah, that's, that's and see, there you go. Number two, bottlenose dolphins. Not surprised. Super smart. Mm -hmm. Definitely know what's going on. Um, yeah, there's there are other species of dolphin, but the bottlenose is the one. They've got the largest brain size amongst all their relatives. Is that the ones you see on um, in America, Florida? People go and watch with the balls and that stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I like yeah. the way they look, you know. They've, they're the only one without a fused cervical vertebrae, which means they can nod and do all that. But they switch oh, wow. as well, right? Yeah. Mm. You hear them killing their trainers and that, drowning them and that, for no reason. Yeah, they notice, they're, they're smart, they can recognize themselves in the mirror like all of these animals, but also they can uh, notice like unfamiliar marks on their body. So if you put makeup on a dolphin, dolphin's gonna be like, what have you done? Yeah. If it looks in the mirror, it'll see it. <laughs> they're stored. They, these animals are storing. They're storing too. I like this. Uh, yeah, they they remember calls from a mate after like twenty years. Like, oh, me and you ain't been called for twenty years, but oh, you're, you're around. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, I know who that is. That's mad. That's mad. Yeah. Dolphins are scared. No, scared of them, man. They've got their own language. Yeah, that's super intelligent. And they bun. They bun puffer fish. They get intoxicated. Oh yeah, they get fish. high. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, well, wait, wait, wait a minute. You're telling me dolphins together smoke weed? Yeah, they smoke pufferfish. But they smoke pufferfish and get high. Because pufferfish, you know pufferfish, they let off like a toxin, which is dangerous. Most, most animals, you'll scare them off or hurt them or whatever, but dolphin, it, it intoxicates them. So they grab it, because when they grab it, it'll release the toxin because it thinks it's being eaten and it'll pass it around, literally. But the animal, and them. then let it go after. Yeah, and it's like, if you think about it, that's fucked. Like that's, this, stealing, that's stealing weed, man. That's nah, this puffer fish is petrified, bro. It thinks it's on its way out. Like, you know them ones, they don't think, oh, they're just, they're just burning on my poison again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. think, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. This, this is the I'm third done. one this week. What's going on? What have I done? The boy is you again. Animals Shit. Animals are like us. You know the ones, pull it up to man's yard. Come outside. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you see these, man? They just need to finish me off. <laughs> This is too much, bro. Because <laughs> right, they're not as smart as dolphins. They can't even remember. Yeah, they, so every, they can't remember. Every time dolphins knock on the door, they come out. Like, yeah, they come <laughs> out. Like, oh, shit, I forgot about this. What are you, man, doing? What? <laughs> Don't know about this toxin, yeah? <laughs> Releases it under the shit. Oh, I forgot they like it. <laughs> they're getting high off the <laughs> shit. That's class. Yeah, it's mad. I'm just trying to picture a high dolphin. Or what would a high dolphin do? And uh, Yeah, dolphins have sex for pleasure. But not to mate. They, uh, there's, uh, it's an inevitable consequence. But they enjoy sex and they rape as well. I, I was, I was, I, w I wanted, I was gonna wait for Tigo to say it. Yeah. I didn't know if, it, but yeah, they, they have sex with, with things that don't want to yeah. have sex with it. Mm. Wait, 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 no, hold on. What, what, do, what, do, what do you mean, a dolphin has sex with what? Another animal. A dolphin will go have sex with an octopus. 
That's what you're telling me. Octopus is like, that man. It's probably going to turn into a rock and get out of there. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, he'll struggle with us. It's too clever. But oh, no. so dolphins will go and find something that don't look like them and say, look, let's have sex with that. No, I don't know if it's necessary. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. No, yeah. Guys, like, what are you telling me? Because you said they're the smartest animals. Dolphins have sex with humans. Yeah, I don't really want to have my Google search feature this. Yeah. So I'm going <laughs> to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Different feds coming to your. Exactly. Aqua feds. <laughs> So oh, what, what, the marine. The, the, so wait, if I if I tweeted that a dolphin just tried to bang me, what someone will come to us? The feds from the lost city of Atlantis. <laughs> First, should be coming to me. They're First, should be going to the them. The they should be arrested, not me. Aquaman's coming. Yeah, Aquaman. Jason Momoa. Yeah. Number one on the list of most intelligent animals is orangutans. Obviously, these things are ridiculous. Yeah. You That's see it. the video on Twitter where it, um, it takes the shirt off the you, and it looks at the shirt and then it puts the shirt on. And it just walks off, just in. The the, apparently what makes it special is that all the stuff that chimpanzees do, sign language, ah. tools, all that stuff, but they understand the cognitive like concept of why. What? So they know this is for, like, so they, wait. They understand the reasoning behind a certain action. Yeah, that's, that's, that's. You did that because of that. You did that because of that. So they can plan like, that means their reactions are way more like based on like some kind of logic like that. Yeah, that's a madness. Stop saying monkeys and gorillas and the red tangs are animals. They're humans. No, they're animals. Animals are humans. Well, they have hands. Humans are animals. Sorry. They've got animals. hands, bro. It's got 97% of the same DNA as us. Fuck it. See, can I ask you a question? Do you, all right, cool. Because or- orangutans are the smartest and they know why. Does this mean that they show the shit? Of course they yeah, do. Yeah, a lot of animals do. Yeah. No, like, and know why they're doing it. Yeah. Know that yeah. they can't, they can't find anyone to mate with, like dolphins. <laughs> so I think, I'll use my I hand. I think a lot of them just do it because they can't be bothered yeah. to mate with somebody. You know when I hear all this education I'm getting today from both of you? Obviously your computer and Hilipi's His brain. brain computer, yeah. Um, but, but I want to be an animal. You, you are, are an animal. Oh, right, but I want to be that like, them where there's no house, think, house price crisis, all this stuff. <laughs> it's just a kingdom of, it's a good deal, man. why? It's not. I think empathy is the main one, man. Yeah. Empathy, other than anything, fuck houses and religions, empathy. Like there's animals that are born, give birth, and just fuck off. Yeah, yeah mm. just go find food now. No, but that's that's that's, the, that's the, mainly the males, though, isn't it? There's no, the well. they will leave the like insects. Leave, is it? Like mm. insects, like pre- pre- I think it's praying mantises. They're like ultimate. Like, but even their babies are like ultimate. Like, again, they said they'll just make them be born in like a colony of butterflies or something, baby will wake up, eat all the little baby butterfly eggs and that, and then it's just but at least, but for itself. They ain't got to work, Lippy. They, there's no they money involved. They just, they just, they just- They got a hunt. They got a hunt. Like, imagine hunting for your food. And a lot of the time, the thing that you're hunting for, there's bare other things hunting for it. There's things hunting for you. The thing you're hunting for could just flip it on you because there's bare of them. Like, I think they're never not working. Yeah, they're never not working. They can't even Balance. sleep fine. Yeah, other than if dog, you other can get hunted by your sleeping as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, other than domesticated animals like cats and dogs and that, your whole life is hunting and gathering. Your whole life. We were talking earlier, buffaloes vote. They vote, vote. man. Yeah, but what, it's only like the, the main guy. Yeah. For the, for, yeah, to mate. So Fuck it's the female vo- buffaloes. That's crazy. But that's, that, like, this is incredible, man. Everyone comes to give no money. But listen, we want you to mate over here by this bush. So everyone will point that direction. Mm. I think we need to um, we need to um, improve our connections with animals because in Avatar, um, I don't want to give it too much away because you ain't watched it, but there's there's a, a small part where one of the avatars is in danger, but before the danger, he's you know um, connected with this animal, yeah, but this animal lives in water. It's like a hippo well. I don't know where it is, but it's I was telling Chloe it's wrapped up in like Louis Vuitton like clothes. I don't know why machino. It's got loads of signs. No, this is the truth loads of like different material but anyway so he wraps up this animal then he's in danger this animal senses the danger and comes and what bro the rest is history yeah. what's what this animal does to this film <laughs> to the this film, film not to the <laughs> bro, am i lying <laughs> the, the, like that like the, the, the animal turns into like you know like the main actor or actress it becomes about that this animal it's, it's, it's forget leonardo dicaprio and al pacino forget them it's about this hippo well. Anyway, you're gonna see it anyway. 
I just, you know, you know, I think the worst fight I've ever seen is two hippos fighting because it's it's just like, it's just mouth. But I don't understand what's actually killing each other. Like, what are you? What's going on? Because the the mouths are open when they collide. I don't understand. Yeah, nah, hippos are they're fast as well. I think that's one thing that people don't realize that they're fast anywhere as well in water, yeah. on land. Yeah. That they you cannot get away from a hippo. That they're fast. It's not like not like a dog. Like you, certain man in the hood. Like me getting chased by a dog ain't gonna be the same as certain man. You get me? But a hippo, it's the same fate for everyone. Like no one, <laughs> no one can get away. Yeah, no one. Yeah. Even the, uh, the film Madagascar mm. with a hippo. Jada Pinkett Smith, the hippo in that. Yeah. If that hippo was really in New York, yeah. big problems. Yeah. Don't worry about the lion. Don't worry about Ben Stiller. And obviously, I always see a hippo by a dirty lake. How come I don't see a crocodile? He, he posts bully crocodiles. Yeah. yeah. Bully everything. Anything that's by Crocodile, see hippo, crocodile. It's crocodile gone. long, yeah. What? Fuck that. Wow. They say, like, crocodile are, like, the bouncers are the, on the door of, like, the bad boy club. Like, they'll, they'll be like, yeah, like, we're here to show you that you don't go over there. Does like, everyone understand this? Like, if I walked into a, 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 a yardy rave with a hippo on a lead, was, it, was would everyone dust? Does everyone understand <laughs> <laughs> that hippos are this... Or uh, it's too hypothetical of a situation. Yeah. Like. <laughs> That's one of my dreams, man. <laughs> That's one of my dreams. Walking to Wireless Festival with Hippo on the lead, man. Fuck you, know. Nah, hippos are. They're serious, man. So, what's the difference between hippo and rhinoceros? Same family? No. Rhinoceros is no. din- dinosaur family, right? Well, yeah, <laughs> so everything. Anything, no, anything Saurus at the end, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's a like mammal, though. So okay. It's not. It's, it's the like, only mammal that lays eggs, right? Is it lay eggs, a rhino? I think so. It does. Does a rhino lay eggs? No, rhinos don't lay eggs. No, nah, you and don't, you, they don't. And do you know how I know they don't I know lay how eggs? you know. Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura. <laughs> yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, Ace Ventura two. two. Yeah, that's <laughs> the only reason why. Sorry, what was Ace Ventura about, by the way? Because all that all all was. Da, na, 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 Was that the sound? In the, in the bushes? Oh, what? That's yeah. Are we on one more? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Nah, Ace Ventura. That's that's. I think it's. I think it's the second one. Yeah. International Pet Detective. Yeah, the second one. That, that that's one when of my favorite films. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's one of that my was when Jim films. Curry was Jim Curry. I don't know who Jim yeah. Curry is about now today, people. Yeah. He's he's Matt Letizia in that. <laughs> <laughs> Man's woke. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, he was a pet detective. He investigated right. pet crimes. I need to watch that, man. I need to watch it again. Because when I watched it, then I didn't understand it. Right, great. Harry's class, both man. both films are great. Yeah, class. Class. Pe- Ace Ventura, pet detective. But both he, he done an animal in the bush, right? He didn't do an animal in the bush, no. He, he was living in um, uh, a rhinoceros, a robot rhinoceros, and he got too hot and he squeezed out the bum. Or in the bush? Yeah. That's why the bush was shaking. No, but then he he sleeps with the princess of the tribe as well T, later on the film. Does Jim Carrey have sex with an animal in the bush? No, you're not. You're, you're being defensive. No, this just doesn't happen. So why is the bush shaking with him? Him and the animal in the bush? Just quickly, because I remember that scene. The giant. He might ha- have been molested. That's no, possible. You're, what you're thinking of is when the giant hamster molests the bear in the film. Oh, okay, okay. oh you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're yeah, yeah, yeah. At a point, there's like. Remember, like the evil people, they're trying to give like some serum to animals to make them giant or something, innit? Right. And yeah, but then he ends up, it ends up not being a crime because he's yeah, so it. Only scene I remember, only scene I stored, boy. Didn't understand anything else. Um, you know, but there's a lot of misinformation about animals as well. Mm-hmm. Like uh, Reginald over there thought that hedgehogs were fast when he first saw a hedgehog. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> I've not. I did. I did as well, though. Do you know why I thought they were fast as well? Because they were always dead in the road. So I thought they're fast, they're in the road. Right, racing cars. Yeah, no, they're just, they see, what, Volvo, yeah? <laughs> Gets hit, got hit, got hit by Volkswagen, no. It's fucked. Like, no, I just thought, yeah, they're, they're I thought they were fast. What family, they're, they're the, the mice and rat family, right? Rodents. Rodents. Are they? Are they marsupials? I think they are this marsupials. I'm saying. When I look at a hedgehog's face, and I look at a mice's face, it's the same face. Um, all right, we're going to quickly run through the dumbest animals. Because yeah. this is... <laughs> yeah. Number 10 is the flamingo. Oh, oh flamingo, I dumb. I they're, they're dumb. Flamingo can't stand with both feet together. It's got to be like that, right? 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. They have two legs, but prefer to use only one at a time. Um, they Only one of their legs is used as a resting place. And it's an example of their foolishness because they try to catch fish with their beaks flipped upside down in the water. I hear you. Uh, number nine on the dumbest animals is the slow loris. Whoa, the big, the, with the big eyes. Yeah. No Madagascar. It's a nocturnal monkey genus. Big oh, yeah, just, it's like, I thought they'd be smart. John Lee size, yeah? They're from Bangladesh and Northeast India. Um, yeah, they, they spend most of their night foraging alone. Not, not a lot's known about their social structure. But um, they sleep alone. Um, but apparently, yeah, they're just dumb. I've never heard that in my life. I think I've seen. I think I've seen them because they don't blink, right? Is it the one that has the big finger? Yeah, I think so. And it hooks for um, them in fucking uh, termites. I mean, we and went that. when I went the last time I went London Zoo. I think I was in year seven, and they're they're in like the dark bit where all yeah. the bats are. I fucking shit myself when I saw that, bro. Oh, you know what it is? the way the lighting is, it looks like there's no glass. Yeah, and they've yeah. got like all like leaves <laughs> and that on the fix, so it just looks like you're in a forest. I've just walked in you know, and seen this. It's licking big orange eyes just looking at the man them. I said, fuck that, man. There's bats in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But bats but aren't scary. I know But they're ones. still scary, though. Yeah, if I see a scary, bat yeah. coming at me, I'm gone. Yeah, yeah. Wow, them eyes are serious. It's like they're wearing glasses, bruv. <laughs> nah, the way, the way I, I remember seeing bats in, in London. I was in, man was in um, I think they're Primrose well. Hill. Yeah, Primrose, Primrose Hill. Right, yeah. On a late night thing. I was with a girl, she was like, those were bats. I was like, whatever, man. Mm. And it's like, they, fla- they flew a lot. And I didn't see them, but I could just hear, you know, you could just hear yeah, that different bat noise. Yeah, yeah, I said, yeah, let's get the fuck Is that because the zoo's there? No. No. They're the just bats in Bats are, are, are they, everywhere, They're man. here, yeah. Bats are everywhere. They're rodents, innit? They're I've like never seen everywhere. one. Can't. Never seen you one. You have seen one, you just didn't realise. Yeah, you, you, you've probably seen, like... Thinking it's a bird. Yeah, thinking it's a bird and it's a bat. Sneaky fools, man. They're sneaky, innit? Pretending to be pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at me and saying, now nah, you think I'm a pigeon, innit? And you're wearing big glasses. But they've but got no interest in you. That's a good thing, innit? That's the thing about bats, is we think of them as being vampires and that. They don't care about you. But they're like ninjas. They don't want to be seen at all. And they eat bugs, mostly. Some of them eat like little rodents, but... Uh, number eight dumbest animal is the cane toad. Cane? It's a frog. Yeah. Bro, bro, frogs, frogs are pointless, man. Like, how can a frog be just... Even the way they eat bugs. The bug will be right there. It'll be, wait, wait one hour. Yeah. It's a bug. You, you can get it, you know? You ain't gonna wait this long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang! Yeah, yeah. They, they looks around. Stuff. They looks around like, did anyone see me do it? We, we cut, man. We took an hour to get it. They're a big problem in Australia. They've mm. been t- tearing up their ecosystem, eating their crops, and it, like and causing like problems. Pests. Yeah, but they they they're so dumb. Apparently, they'll just try and have sex with anything. They're trying to have sex with shoes, mice, lizards, salamanders. They're just trying to beat at all times. Some dogs are like that, though. My friends have had dogs that just mate with everyone's leg. Uh, number seven is the kakapo. What? what? The what the- Fuck Show me that. Is that? S- t- switch that up to run. That is a Pokemon. Please, can we get these picks up, please? Oh, m- what the? F- That's a leaf Pokemon, a leaf bird. T. The TikToks are gonna have images though, hundred <sighs> percent. What's it called? The Kakapo. It's huge and flightless. Flightless. Can't fly. That is fucking. That's frightening, man. That's petrifying. What's that it called? Things huge. Kakapo. Thank God it can't fucking fly. Kakapo. K A K A. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. Flightless bird. It says straight away. As soon as it spots a predator, it freezes in fear. Oh. <laughs> so what's the like? What's the point of looking like a bird if you can't fly? Well, that's the thing. No one knows. It's lunch, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Some, something needs to get eaten. Yeah. I told you, man. There's something. There's something to do. There's something about shoulders and <laughs> birds, man. <laughs> Always on shoulders, bro. I've noticed that, man. Um. Yeah, they they uh they to entice females, males clear a mating space and issue a booming cry to lure them. As a result, the female can't reach the mating region since her cry reverberates so widely, making it nearly impossible. Today, there are only about 150 left because they're so dumb. Yeah, man, if you're if if you're if you're that dumb and you can't fly, because I know God gave gave you the power to fly, but you don't know you haven't worked it out. You know what? You might as well just go. You might as well. Number six, you won't be surprised. Koala. Cunts. Koala bear. No, they're cunts. They are. Let me see what they look like again. And they've got chlamydia. They've got chlamydia, yeah. Built in chlamydia. Built in, yeah, I think so. So, 
do they get, they caught chlamydia off their own, right? That's the question. No, there's some animals that have different illnesses, like cats have illnesses that just exist in them. But to us, they're, yeah. Once they get to us, they're, they're the thing that we don't like. <laughs> Why am I typing in chlamydia? Was it called, go- was it? Koala. Koala. Go, go, Allah. Bear. I just want to see their face. Oh, man. You see, if I had a choice of how I'd want my pet to look, it'd be this. Yeah. <laughs> what, koala? Yeah. I think they look, you know what I mean? They um, look, you know what I mean? Uh, but. They look weird. <laughs> oh, it is. Wet koala. Mm, fucking frightening, bro. Wet koala. Oh my days! Yeah, they're angry. They they they, they, they turn angry, bro. No, they're vexed. They're vexed. <laughs> they're vexed. <laughs> they turn angry. That's that's I've got chlamydia. Who who gave me this? Sometimes <laughs> <laughs> it's built in. <laughs> forever angry. Their brain to body ratio is the smallest among animals. Oh wow! Yeah, they have no idea about healthcare. They've got um, nineteen percent of them have got chlamydia. And they starve to death. Even if there's food, so they just yeah they don't give a shit in it. Like we're done, we're done anyway. We're done, lads. <laughs> that's that's cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> we come into this world, chlamydia. <laughs> like what's, what's the point? What's the point? We're chilling. Uh, number five, again, won't be a surprise. Sloths. Not surprised. Snail? Is that a snail family? No. Okay, so sloths sloth. are s- snail family. Snail family. Have you ever watched a video of the sloth uh, trying to run away from the? Um, Panther, I think it's a panther up a tree. Nah. The panther's just climbing and it, the sauce just says, oh, oh, it's like playing yeah. with it. I've seen it, yeah. yeah. It's just like, oh my oh, God, you're here. Man. This is a, these look, look a bit like monkeys in that though. Yes, I think sloths are. That is makeup. I think sloths are aliens. That is makeup. <laughs> it's got a bear's face. That's a polar bear's face. Nah, I think I think, I think they're, they're aliens and there's something about them that we don't know. Like when we're not looking, they're mad fast or something. <laughs> nah, you turn away and they're gone that's so weird or yeah, they might is, be another lunch yeah that's weird another lunch animal apparently um, the thing about them is that if, if they're hanging upside down or whatever and you shoot one the claws won't let go even if it's like dying it's just uh, dead it'll stay up there is it dead because of fear uh, it's just a, some sort of self defence thing they've got in there um, yeah they uh, not, not there are a few animals that are slow and dumb as sloths um, they spend most of their time sleeping. Although they never defecate there, they defecate somewhere else. Um, they, well, they go down. They stay a whole week in a tree, then they go down for one day a week, have a shit, go back up. <laughs> yeah. so to- oh, okay, so they're in, that, they're in the house, but they're on the fifth floor. Cl- sloths have been known to mistake their own limbs for tree branches, so they try and climb their arms and fall like out that. the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that is dumb. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. That's yeah. Flipping hell. <laughs> Actually, I'm just trying to. I'm trying to think. Have I, as a kid, have I ever like? Yeah, as babies, we do that, innit? With our try foot. to climb yourself. Not climb myself, but when we we look at our feet, innit? And we try and get rid of our feet. I've seen. I've seen my kids. Nah, that's just try to take their feet away. Huh? Nah, my my son does that now. Yeah. He's, nah, it's but new, it's just it? like. They're just playing with their feet, innit? it? It's not trying to take them away. Just... Number four, ostriches. <laughs> yeah, they're dumb. Just chasing the car. You're holding an ostrich's neck and that's it. Uh, it's another what? flightless bird. And it, when it chases you, it just turns off. Like, like, what is the point of chasing you? What? And if you stop, what's going to happen? <laughs> what? Yeah, what is the point? They can run up to 43 miles per hour. That's all they can do, run. By a constant speed of 31 miles per hour. So their burst is fucked. Yeah, the acceleration's mental. This, I, I love the strides though. Like that, that's what you call flair and technique in running. If they, if they fucking run into you, full pelt, you're fucked. Do they? Yeah. They kick as well. Yeah. Powerful kick. No, wait, hold on, hold on. So you're telling me when you're watching them videos of people in them cars, you know them stone cold trucks? Because they have people sitting at the back and the car stops and I was just, it's going to run into the, run into the car. Well, the, the problem they got is that when they're confronted by a predator, instead of using their speed or their kick, they actually just flop onto the ground and stretch their heads out in front of them. So they're basically just, oh, I'm dinner. 
Oh, they give up. Number three on our list is the Jaboa. That ain't dumb. Do you know what that is? It's a the, desert rat. The mouse that does kung fu kicks. <laughs> he does. When man tried to, when, and it could like bounce off his tail and that. His tail gives it like ultimate balance. It, it, it kicks snakes was, in the face and that. I thought that was a kangaroo. What's it called? J E R B O A. J E R. Unless it's not that, unless it just looks like that, that could be possible. I've never ever seen this animal in my life. But that, it looks like a kangaroo. It's a little kangaroo. It's like a little younger kangaroo, bro. Bro, them legs are sick, though. They have a weird jumping style, apparently. There's no real explanation as to why they're um, so stupid, but they are apparently stupid. They're just sitting up, they're just sitting up rats, though, innit? And they have good hearing. Uh, number two, the turkey. Oh, I think no. we bred them to be stupid yeah, though, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah industrial farming made them. And I think they these things are like they're lunch, bro. They're yeah. in the they're in the thing to be lunch. Yeah, they're in the food chain. Yeah. Uh, obviously they're a big deal over here and most the United States they fucking love turkey. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know every year the president before Thanksgiving pardons one. He, he gets a turkey and goes, you're the one that gets to live this year. Because everyone else gets eaten. Yeah, the while, his, while his family... <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. The, the Tortured. Like, nah, don't pardon me. I want to go to hit the stairs with him. Like. <laughs> You're saying pardon my son. I'm fucking 85. <laughs> I'm, I'm 17. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even finish uni. Number two. Uh, number uh, one. Number one. I know, it, ha it has to be. Sheeps. No. no. Sheeps no. are not in this list. No. Sheep aren't stupid. Sheeps are the, the, the guy that's gonna kill them. Yeah, what? all animals do that. Humans that, do that. Because it's the guy that feeds them and watches oh, them. Oh, so the guy right. tricks them. I didn't know that. We vote for people that kill us. Yeah. Stay woke. Mm, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, panda bear. And I heard about this one. They're the dumbest you, animals you know in the is? world. I feel like this is, all these lists is like, Opinion it because you see them, they can't like they're endangered because they're so shit at mating. Mm -hmm. So, like, they're even in enclosures and that they'll put a male and a female together and they'll just like no, no, why they'll just do what like anything else other than mate, bro. They, they're carnivals, but they only eat plants, yeah, yeah, that says it all. But then again, I'm a carnivore and he eats plants, <laughs> they're stupid, bro. The black and white bears that we, yeah, panda bears. They're dumb. Right, do they attack? Will they attack us? No. They muck about. What do you mean? Like, oh, I'm gonna kill you. No, Joking. not even, they just muck it. They just do roly polies. They get leaves and they just throw leaves in the air. Like they muck about. There's a reason they only live in uh, captivity and people are trying to keep them alive because they cannot. Come on, a polar bear, there's a little polar bear with mum and dad. Panda bear. Panda bear, sorry. I go to little panda bear, uh, people's elbow. You're telling me the mum and dad are gonna throw leaves at them? Probably sorry. laughing, yeah. But they said there's there's been cases of panda attacks on humans at zoos, but they're not serious. Like. Female pandas have been known to kill their young because they're fed up of them. Oh <laughs> my days! <laughs> they have a poor record for caring for and raising their young. So there you go, Specs. Pandas so, are pricks. Okay, I get it now. People's elbow better kill this little one here. <laughs> yeah, you better do that harder. <laughs> and that's, that's the 10 dumbest animals. And um, you, you said you wanted to tell Lippy about how you've got crabs. Yeah, before I told Lippy I've got crabs, let's ask Lippy another, just one more animal question that I don't understand. So after doing my own little study of animals, and this, you know, this, to me, this is fascinating. This is my thing. I wondered, like, how do animals, right, like males, tell the difference between all the female animals they're seeing. Because for me, when I look at these animals, they all look the same. So a male buffalo it looks exactly like, like a female Pheromones, buffalo. pheromones of them thing there. Because it's like, yeah, man, you, a, a dogs must ask themselves that question. How, did they, <laughs> how the fuck does my man know that that's a girl? Like, you know them ones, it's like. Because they all look the same, right? They you know, like with humans. Not, not always. I like, look at lions and lionesses. But they again, look very okay, different. But, but lionesses, they still all look the same. Look, human beings, you got predicaments, mummies. 
um, situation. Oh, you mean like, I thought you meant telling the difference between male and female. You just be like the different, the, the, like, you the know different what I mean? like, gal. Yeah, how do you know, oh, that one's got a bunda. Like, do you know they, they, don't don't, get they it? have a bunda probably, bro. <laughs> yeah, they don't, they don't. Anim- not animals, I've look, never carbons. seen a horse with different, like, you look at, I, I, I look at horses, but carnival, I look at bundas of horses and it's the same back of all of yeah, them. Yeah, because they're all police horses trained to do the same thing. Going to the, what? Go to, you know when you're going, driving to Leicester or whatever, look in the field, all the horses look different. You know how uh, humans reproduce horses, right? Mm. It's by extracting semen from the horse and then putting it into the female horse. Oh, do they ever let the horse go and beat? Like right? some do. Okay. Yeah, it's art- artificial insemination. Yeah, to make sure it's done properly. And they and that's the way they make sure it's the right. Like, so say they do it for on dairy farms, they'll get the the bull of the mum that produced the mo- the most milk mm. to reproduce with all the the ones that produce the most milk. So it's a cycle, like. So mm. the yield is always like. You get me? They if, all, you, they, if you take semen from a shit bull, you're gonna raise shit yeah. calves. It's to control. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. But in terms of how animals tell each other apart, I think there's a conversation to be had about how many racist people can't tell different races yeah. apart, different people from the same race apart. So I think animals are probably just a little bit smarter than us in their own field. Yeah, cause no, I mean, I, cause I try and be that like, like them. Do you reckon animals are racist? Like, not racist, but oh, like that's what I'm saying. when they see no, cause put it this way, things like you know, like wolves, mm. wolves that like, migrate. So right now, wolves from the west might be in the east right now, cause in the west there's like floods or something, and then the wolves might see them and be like, whoa. But is it like, is it because they're just different wolves, or is it because they're wolves from there? If it was the South Wolves, it's like, nah, it's just the South man. Man, yeah, no, them man yeah, is cool. Yeah, yeah. Them West man there though, yeah, from yeah. over the, w- w- nah. They, they, you, man, they man like 200 years ago, yeah, came it down must be there, like it was that. beef. It might, all animals can't just like. But them. obviously dogs are racist. Yeah, dogs If are your racist. owner's racist, yeah, yeah, yeah. then that dog comes out Do you racist. remember that though? Yeah. Bro, my, my dog don't like black people. Do yeah, you remember yeah, that? Yeah. That was a bar. Yeah. I mean, where you're from, yeah. Yeah, my, yeah. I mean, I, I ain't heard. A black guy come and say, boy, my dog don't like white people. I, I've never, <laughs> yeah, heard yeah, that. never heard that one. <laughs> no, I've never heard that one, bro. <laughs> Why is it never the other way around, bro? Never the other way around. Do you know what it is, though? It's mm. like, if if you're racist, right, and you're walking your dog, when you see a black person, you'll tense yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. All of that. Your dog, like, your dog, your dog. You yeah. don't like that person. I don't like that person. Yeah. 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 Animals are smart, man. It's all about vibes. Listen, we're, we're, we're lucky. We're lucky that we're still not living with dinosaurs, because it all could have been worse. Can't try, you can't be, try and be prime minister of a country when you know four dinosaurs can just roll but through some dinosaurs anytime. Are shit, though. That's another episode. I ain't yeah, is it? That, dinosaurs. Yeah, that, Most dinosaurs were We're going to do a dinosaur yeah. episode then. Yeah. T-Rex. Is was, it? Had, was, could run at like five miles per hour or something. Like, don't get that, twisted. Dumb what? Piece of shit. Yeah, dumb it's proper. I can get away. Yeah, easily. Easily. They're like, they couldn't, because of the, the way their arms were and shit, they literally had to move in that slow motion, like all hip movement. Nothing would come from that. You get me? One more thing, Lippy. Just on this animal subject, I want to ask you a question. This is personal. And this is between me and you. I don't want no one to know. Dragons. They appear in a lot of stories. They're in Avatar. Um, I, again, I don't believe in the, the, the real dragon with the fire and all that kind I, of stuff. I but do. do you believe I, in this I stuff? Believe, I believe. I've told you already, Tigo. I told Tigo. There's places in this planet you're not allowed to go to, bro. And in the sea. We ain't seen all of the sea. So like North Pole or South Pole, whatever one you're not allowed to go to, there's dragons there. There's dragons there, bro. That's why you should watch Avatar. There's dragons there, yeah, no. Nah. Because Avatar shows you that secret place with that the piece yeah, talking about. Yeah. Pandora, which could be There's Komodo dragons. Yeah, yeah Komodo and they're they're dangerous. Sick. Yeah. Flying dragons. We couldn't we couldn't we couldn't hack that. I couldn't I hack think they're that just though. smart. They know. They know what it is. They they've warred the the humans before. They're like we can't war these man. They got <laughs> helicopters. These man. Uh, like, the man they just had boats and they fucked us up. <laughs> <laughs> these man are up here with us now. I see them. Oh shit. What's his name? Saint George slayed the yeah. dragons, didn't he? Mm. That's the patron saint of e- England or something. You believe in dragons as well? No, I don't. Believe I do. I, I believe in dragons. Oh, I believe in dragons. They might not be able to fly, but there's like some kind of big dinosaur thing. That either lives like around fire or can like put fire on you and it's in the sea. Loch Ness. Yeah, no, nah, Loch Ness is Loch. Because you know what I didn't realize, yeah, how deep 
locks are. They're mad deep, you know. All right, one more. Mermaids. Drunk no? pirates. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. That's what I think. So Young Tef is not really down there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think I think that's drunk pirates. Pirates were drunk and missing their ladies. They seen a dolphin, they're like, raw, that dolphin. <laughs> They wanted an excuse. Yeah, they yeah. Just, yeah it's, that's what it was. They're like, brother, I swear the dolphin had dress. That's why you caught me bashing. You think I'm just bashing on the plank? The plank's for the prisoners, bro. I know that's not... What the fuck? Yeah, man. It's a lot of rum. Oh, bad. A lot of rum yeah. and a lot of sadness. And at sea, at sea with the sea motion, you're seeing... Yeah, facts. It's a madness. Yeah, and you got like some little infections. Yeah, you're fucked. You're drunk. Like I said to you before, they should have just switched up mermaids a bit. Obviously, they had the upper... Body, human, lower fish should have been upper fish Why? with legs. That is the most scary thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Lippy, um, I had a problem. You know, and you, you witnessed this problem because I went in a group and I told people that, listen, for the first time ever, obviously, you know me, I'm a panda bear. Yeah. I, you know, shaved my pubes for the first time ever in my life. So Chloe was running her mouth on Twitter. Ah, this is nasty. But then she called me to help me and she became on no rules and, you know, told me what to do. So I've done it. It's great. I've got a problem now. So it's now, you know, a week, two weeks in. And, um, you know, uh, I'm body popping in public. You know, I'm... Do you use, do you use the hair removal thing? N- that's worse. I use the razor. You should not argue, but let me tell you, you, hair removal, yeah? Everything, like batty and everything. Bro, the first time you go shit, you think you've been shit, bro. <laughs> you ain't been shit. He's the guy to talk about no, shit, trust by the way. Me, you ain't been shit <laughs> until you've done a hell of shit. That's the real shit. <laughs> Is it, uh, uh, see, because of the, uh, the way it's the just, just no, you don't understand how much of a burden your batty hairs are, bro. It's yeah, it's, no, you're like, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> you know the one, you go to the toilet, you're like, looking at yourself in the mirror while you're washing your hands, like, <laughs> did it come out? Yeah, what did, <laughs> did this just really happen? <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> but I'm feeling pain. Yeah, nah, because you didn't, you tried it. So, <laughs> so you don't feel pain no more? You don't feel nah, pain? I don't remove my, my arse hairs or any hairs no more. Just it leave it? Yeah, because you was calling man immature for that, saying I'm young and, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm not going to lie, the gallum don't like it though. The gallum, the gallum, That's why I've done yeah, it. The homies like are like, listen, there's thing in it was here. Yeah. This has got to come off. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm trapped. Yeah, nah, I'm good. But it's, nah, I don't care, man. But yeah, man, it's, 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 it's really hurting me going back. And I was told by Greg uh, that you're not meant to cut it all the way down, off, just it's meant yeah, to be halfway. Yeah, you're meant to be a skin feed. Yeah, Buzz cut. Ingrowing, you've got ingrown hairs now. Not crabs. It depends, you might have crabs. What is crabs? That, that, that don't sound right. But just what do you think it is? Crabs just sounds like, you know, it sounds like me- some sort of measles that's just down there. Doesn't no, sound right. It's not, no, it's, not, it's worse than that. What? It's crabs. Like chlamydia? No, it's crabs. That, the, the insects? Yeah. Crabs. I don't have insects on me. You, but a lot of time you can't see them. Probably do still. Well, you definitely do. Yeah. We've all why, got insects would, all over us. Why yeah. would crabs be there? Because it's hair. It's a sexually transmitted uh, oh no 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 no! We're not gonna put that on me. You you've got oh, crabs. If you're, if you're saying that it's from you know eating something, yeah, cool. If you're saying it's from sex, there's no way. I would have. Uh, well, I've got big glass. I would see crabs on them on me. You gotta get special um, shampoos. Is it? No. Yeah. Anyway, it's the last time I do it. I, I've done it, and it's the last time I'm doing. It. I'm never doing it again. No, no, no mommy can tell me you got shaved all of this. Take this off. I'm keeping all this on. I don't care. Let let all these little insects, crabs, live on the trees. <laughs> Because when they hit the ground, <laughs> they hurt the ground. <laughs> nah, hey. Trust me. Let them live on the trees. Nah, hey. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, that's classic. Animal special. Lippy back. First time in two and a half years. What? Had to be about the world, man. The last time Lippy was here was two and a half years. 2020. Yeah, 2020, bro. <sighs> that was before I was on Filthy. Yeah. Literally. Uh, the week of, like, basically. Yeah, literally yeah. like the week before I started Filthy. Nippy, yeah. your, your, your knowledge of animals is, honestly. Carry on, man. We've got more to tell them. But we, we've got to do a dinosaur episode. Yeah, no, 100, 100. And is there anything you need me to go and watch? Is there anything you, that you've discovered? The Mariana Trench stuff, bro. Mariana Look at Trench. that stuff. Yeah. Mariana Trench. The animals that light up and all of them. <gasps> and giant squid. About, and we're going to talk about the electricity fishes. 
Yeah. Electric yeah. Hills. Electric, electric Hills. hills yeah. The ones that, uh, that's electric in water, you know. I was actually swimming in Barbados, uh, snorkeling around the um, turtles and that, and there was a stingray. Oh, no shit. Way. You had to cut out. No way. You buff. Steve Irwin. Did you, that's what I'm saying. Did you call 922? Because <laughs> you're in Barbados. Did you call 922 and say, listen, I found it? Did you? No, I didn't, no. He no, doesn't want to be a snitch. No, never. <laughs> All right. Well, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. You probably have by the time you've got to this point in the show. Thank you for coming, Lippy. Always welcome here. Always a pleasure, man. And yeah, 100, bro. Family tree. Family One of the tree. most no rules human beings on earth. And this is the most knowledgeable uh, episode. So get your notebook, your book, your, your notebook out. Exactly. And take notes. Take notes, man.